It's time for the Mummy Show. High atop the third story of the historic Gibson House overlooking beautiful downtown Centralia. The star of the show, Steve Mooney. Yes. And welcome to this week's edition of the Mooney Show. Paul Walker is with me. Hello, Paul. Well, hello again. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, take number three on the uh, opening for the Mooney Show because, you know, there are no secrets on the Mooney Show. That's true. That's true. And just saying welcome is sometimes a challenge. Uh, welcome is very, uh, yeah, it, it can be a, a, a challenge for me <laughs> at, at times. Hey, we got a big day today here, though, right? We got, we got a big things, day. We're we heading out to, to we, we've got things here. to do here. So uh, in just a few minutes, we're going to uh, head out to Onalaska. It's the brand new Napa store, and it's not open quite yet, but we're going to get a sneak peek at what's going on and uh, the progress and all that stuff. So we're heading out to Onalaska here in just a few minutes for the uh, big tour yeah, of the yeah. Napa store. Now, two things I want to take care of uh, right now. A couple of concerts caught my eye, and they're, you know, they're not by, you know, the uh, the official band, but you're seeing more and more of right, these tributes. tribute bands. Yeah, yeah, and man, I'll yeah. tell you what, they're they're fantastic. A lot of them are. I yeah. mean, they're really good. And some, I'll be honest, a little shaky. Exactly. But, but we've got some stuff coming up uh, midsummer. We'll talk about that. Yeah, music in the park. Yeah, music in the we, park. We have yeah. not yet announced, and frankly, right now, it's not going to be announced until after March 2nd. Okay, so that's here in a couple and, of weeks. And then we'll tell you why in, in a moment here. Okay. So, uh, McFiler's Shahalos Theater, this is one, man, I would love to see. I don't know much about it. Roll on, a tribute to Alabama. Yep. Oh, now, that yeah. sounds <clears throat> great. Mm -hmm. So, tickets on sale for that one right now. Again, uh I've never really, I've never seen anything like, you know, tribute. You know, you see the ACDC stuff, yeah. the, you know, that type Randy of stuff. Randy Linder, but, yeah. CCR. CCR yeah, and yeah. Bob Seger. Yeah. Well, but yeah. Uh, uh, with Alabama, this is the first one I've heard of. Uh, never mind. This is a uh, you know, Nirvana tribute. Yep. yep. Uh, Friday, April 5th at 8 o'clock again at the uh, Chahil Theater. This one, I, I mean, I'd like to see the Nirvana one, but man, Petty Fever. Yeah. Whoa. April 26, 8 o'clock. Uh, this guy even kind of looks like Tom Petty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of them uh, are dead on. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no, we set. had, uh, what's his, I forget, I forget his name, but he did uh, the, the John Denver yes. tribute. And he lives uh, in yeah. the Rochester area. And uh, he looks, man, like looks him. and sounds exactly like John Denver. Exactly. Yeah. He's channeling John. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't fly anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Stay out of those airplanes. Uh, summertime, Saturday, July 13th, Hell's Bells. Boy, that's a fan favorite around oh, here. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. matter how many times they're here. It's always good, and it's always a, you know, a yep. huge party. Uh, heart by Heart, Friday, June 14th at uh, 8 o'clock at McFiler. So, And there's other stuff as well, but, man, they've got a great lineup for... The yeah, show's coming yeah, up here. Absolutely. Okay, so do we have some information about music in the park? Yeah, uh, it's after March second. Oh, I thought you were going to tell us something about it. Yeah, that after we're not going to say anything until after March second. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, quick you shout out. Know why after March second? Well, yeah. Well, between right now, yeah, and March second, yeah, we will be putting up two hundred and eighty basketball games. So we're busy. So I don't have time. I know that. I so mean, I don't have time to delve okay. into music in the park right now. <laughs> I know that. And so, actually, between now and March second, yeah. those two hundred and eighty games occur just on six of those days. Okay, so this is so, over on the Eli Sports yes. Network, man. I'll tell yes. you what, they're busy over there, and there's a lot of content. A lot of, I mean, boy, oh, it, it's fantastic. It, it's uh, there's a lot of stuff there, and uh, yes, this is our most exhausting part of the year. Yeah, but, but it's fun. It's, uh, but it's fun. Yes, we have fun on March third. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> kind of like over. that's kind of like the way that summer starts on July fifth. Yes, exactly. Okay, exactly. so it rains, it's crappy, and then July fourth. Sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's freezing, and then July fifth, yep. summer's here. Yep, exactly. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, by the way, shout out to George Harrison. His birthday is in a couple of days on February twenty fifth. That's right. Um, you know, you can play. You know any of his music here and not get in trouble yeah okay i just thought i'd let you know that okay 
just want to reassure you that you're not going to get yelled at. Okay. For oh, I see. A George Harrison song. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, to commemorate. I, his I played brilliance. a song one time, and uh, and uh, well, why did you play that song? Well, because he died today. And you know, I don't know. Man. I, I don't <laughs> so. know. He died earlier today. <laughs> And I thought, you know, while my guitar gently weeps off the White Album might be appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I know there's some obscure guitar player that helped him out on the, that, that particular track uh, named uh, Eric Clapton. Oh, but, really obscure. Uh, yeah. yeah. Never yeah, what, heard of him. Yeah, what the hell is that guy doing on? <laughs> okay, so anyway, back to uh, our, our Napa tours coming up in just a few minutes. Now I'm going to ask Paul a couple of things okay, about just... car... <laughs> what? I just can't help but think <laughs> that the outrage of you playing that song probably bumped Aqua not being able to get another version of Barbie, the Barbie Girl song. on 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 yeah right right at know, the top right of the hour there at the top of the hour yeah and this is Casey Casey with America's just, Top uh, Forty and we're playing Aqua right now yes, that, on know, with the countdown if we don't have that on at least three times a day <laughs> then our our listenership is just outraged <laughs> so <laughs> or if you do have it on one time a day the uh, uh, some people are outraged well yeah the listeners. <laughs> you know what though man that that movie was sure a big hit wasn't it I, the barbie that, movie that's what they tell me i don't know although it did get bumped off for oscar well good yeah they said you know we're not no uh, no it's about a it's about barbie no move on paul it's real so <laughs> anyway okay uh again i'm gonna give paul a couple of um these aren't really questions uh, uh I'll, I'll ask you about certain parts on a car and i want you to tell me just be honest he's trying to point out how ill-informed i am about vehicles and engines he's not ill-informed and and he might be you know he might be a little surprised here i'm going to tell him that no the the reason i'm doing this is because i know that if i ask him about these certain parts on really i mean this could be on a car a truck whatever that i'm going to get a really funny answer okay okay Okay. so that's why i'm asking him about that you know right before we Head to Napa. Okay. okay, so if I was to ask you, uh, if you if you had to go to Napa and you said, "Hey, you know, I need to pick up a um, a new water pump for my my Kia Soul," what, what would you? What would I say? What would you say? Maybe do you, what do you what, know? What you just said. What do you know? Where the what what it does and where it goes? Well, no, but that doesn't mean I'm doing it. I have actually done this before. Oh, you have? Oh, yeah. People will ask See? me to uh, go and uh, someone who knows how to fix it. Oh, okay. And then they ask me, uh, here's the problem. When I go in, I say, hey, I need a, I need a new water pump for my Kia Soul. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, what size is the engine? Uh, it's a four-banger. It's a four-banger. I think. Is that something? Uh, yeah. I think it's got an overhead cam. I'm not it. sure if it does or not. <laughs> Apparently, and a, and a turbo in on in it. I too. don't think your yours uh, your turbo died. Oh, okay. So, but that's what I tell him. I go, I don't know. It's right out there. Go look. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, uh, Paul's car also has a fancy feature where it it's uh, it shuts off at stoplights. Yeah. No. Well, it doesn't. No, that's yours. No, that's oh. when you got that alternator. That was that. Oh yeah, that was that was a yeah. fancy feature. Well, you know what? <laughs> I think we still have that other alternator still in the back seat there. Oh, good. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it down to the Portland swap meet. Okay, so uh, uh, like, uh, if he if he needed a part called a wiper motor, what what would you think that is? Well, it seems like that should belong in the bathroom. <laughs> but... <laughs> I was and now, <laughs> potentially, we have come up with a new genius idea here. <laughs> I was hoping that's what he but We didn't rehearse this at all, but I was pretty sure that a wiper motor was going to belong uh, yeah. in the public restroom. Well, um, you know, I know you're all well. stunned to hear that that wasn't rehearsed, but uh, frankly... Nothing's rehearsed. Nothing is rehearsed. How really. about if you walked in and... Uh, and uh, you were wondering why your car wasn't running that well. And uh, the guy said, well, what do you think? Maybe, uh, maybe, you, <laughs> maybe you need a PCV valve. Well, I'd say, well, it's not running well because Big Daddy and his buddy uh, Earl are yeah. the ones that fixed <laughs> it <Daddy>. last time. <laughs> so if you go in and, and check, uh, check the engine of any of my cars yeah. uh, when, I was dry, when I was growing up, yeah. 
a good chance you might find the butt of a uh, palm oil in there and uh, possibly an empty Oli can just somewhere, somewhere jammed in there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're talking about Big Big Daddy is is AKA. Yeah, my dad. <laughs> so. <laughs> so let me tell you the story that Paul told me one time. Uh, he had, a, I, I believe, a Maverick. Yes. And yes. Uh, so uh, yes. it was three on the tree. Yep. Yep. And Big Daddy rigged it up wrong when he put it back together. Well, he and Earl. I oh, believe, Earl. Uh, and Earl's uh, a real. Actually, it was Gary. Okay. Gary. Okay. Gary and Dad are out working on, on it because it, it broke. Oh. Completely snapped off. So they had you, to. You snapped. I don't know. Who the hell does that? Well, I don't know. There, okay. there could have been some other issues involved at the time, but we won't go in yeah, there. So Big Daddy and teenage, Gary are, are fixing it, and they got teenage kids. They got it up on the on the ramps, yeah. the car ramps, right? You know, and uh, and of course, a cooler full of Olympia beer right next to them, right? Uh, and every literally every fifteen minutes, they have to take a smoke break. I mean, that's how it was in the seventies yeah. and early eighties. And, and you know, and, and the and the brewery is what as a crow flies, yeah, what four miles away. Exactly. Yeah. So they're in there and they're they are they are fixing it. And apparently, um, there's the four gears. There's reverse, first, second, and third. Right. 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 And they forgot to mark which one was ah, which. Yeah, that'll happen. And so they guessed, put yeah. it together, and so the three on the tree pattern was yeah. completely opposite. Oh, nice. They go. So if you were going from first to second, you're yeah. jamming it from third into reverse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so oddly, they came up with one of the best anti-theft devices mm -hmm. uh, known to man because uh, uh, someone trying to steal it would have no idea how to drive this. You know, thing. that's not a bad idea. <laughs> In fact, you know, when I was coming up uh, the stairs here just a little while ago, I parked and, and there was a, a pickup and I'm not going to tell you what kind of a pickup, but there was a pickup out in the parking lot and this guy had one of those clubs on it you know the, that you put on the steering wheel oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you have the what wanda have you seen the price of a new truck these days it's not new it's from the mid-70s it's not even a collectible it's ridiculous. that's like taking a tv you don't want and, and, and sticking it out in front of your house on the sidewalk take it please <laughs> this guy wants to save this truck just let him let him take it okay yeah okay Whew. Anyway, okay, so you, you, you... <laughs> don't even know what that was. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, so what do we have now? No, that was it. Those, okay. those were your three questions about the PC. You never really answered my PCV valve question. Well, you know what that is? Well, it, it has, again, must have something to do with the toilet. It, it does. Okay. Yeah. It's a valve that uh, turns uh, the water on and off on, when you flush the tank. <laughs> I don't know. Positive crankcase ventilation. Oh, well, of course. I don't know. And I don't, and guess what? I don't want to know. I know you don't want to know. Okay, now, know. now I got to take my licks here and then we have to leave because we're we're almost late to go out to uh, the Napa store in Alaska. So what's my sports question that I can fall down on here? Okay. How many basketball games are we about to broadcast? 280. All right. You got it. Whoa, that was easy. Yeah. I feel like staples that was, that, that was easy okay we're going on assignment right now so uh we'll pick things back up at uh, napa out in uh on alaska it's not open quite yet but we're getting the tour and we're gonna get the uh the tour and and uh get ready for all those do-it-yourself projects right yep right there man i'll tell you what i need from napa right now a lawnmower battery what they they sell all that stuff. Oh, okay. They sell. They I thought sell. you said they needed a lawnmower. Oh no, no. What I, no, what I need. I mean, oh, because you last need. year okay. I kept having to jump my riding lawnmower. Well, I'm, I mean, no, I had to. Yeah. Let's just get you one of those old Leave It to Beaver lawnmowers. I'll tell you what. That's not. If I didn't have so many molehills. <laughs> anyway, so that's one of my uh, purchases because spring's almost here. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's coming. So okay, uh, we're we're on assignment, and uh, we'll we'll pick back uh, up in just a couple minutes. Right. After this, your locally owned Napa stores have the parts and service you need for safe driving. Through February, see better on dark roads with night vision headlight replacement bulbs. Save $15 on the two-pack. Don't get stuck with a dead battery. Claim a $20 gift card with the purchase of a Napa Legend or Legend Premium Battery. Start the new year off with an oil change. Save up to 42% on Mobile One Synthetic Oil. 
Wilson Snap Auto Parts, open seven days a week in Centralia, Chehalis, Rochester, Tanino, Castle Rock, soon in Onalaska, and at lewiscountynapa.com. As promised, we're on location in Onalaska. Hey, welcome to the Boney Show. Dave Wilson's with me from Napa. Good to see you again, Steve. Dave, another store. Yeah, we just uh, glutton for punishment. <laughs> so tell us, uh, we're in Onalaska, on uh, right here on Carlisle, Carlisle Avenue. Yeah. And uh, we're kitty corner from Twin Star Credit Union, right across uh, right across the street there. We're going to take you folks on a tour of the new Napa here in Onalaska. So let's go ahead and go on in and uh, the sign's up. And, and Now that's a big deal, right? Well, for for the last couple of years, people have been wanting to know what was going on here. And so by putting the sign up, finally, I don't have to answer that question 10 times a day. But this used to be a fire station, right? It did. This was the old fire station before they uh, built their new station out on the highway. And so. you have done extensive rebuilding, remodeling. So, yeah, the, there's a lot of differences between a fire station and an auto parts store. <laughs> <There is. laughs> and then throw in the fact that this is a 100-year-old building mm -hmm. uh, where building standards were a lot different uh, and modified through the years by firemen volunteering on the weekend, doing mm -hmm. everything the, the way they thought they should do it. So... Uh, long story short is every time we opened a wall, we didn't know what we were getting into yeah. and found lots of things that, uh, you know, just don't fly uh, with today's building codes. So a lot of work going into it. And this has been a process. Uh, this has been like a couple of years, right? Yeah. Yeah. I bought this back uh, at the beginning of 2021. Okay. So it has been two years. Um, and and did you... Uh, uh, kind of sat for a, a, a little bit, didn't it? I mean, in between uh, projects. Yeah, this is a you know it'd been empty for a couple of years, okay. and then I bought it, and we had a lot of cleanup to do, and then uh, just kind of trying to work it in between all the other things that were going on. Right. Um, you know, when I bought it, I didn't realize just how extensive a project it was going to be, and so it uh, ended up kind of being on the back burner. A lot. Well, it's uh, just about time to open it, isn't it? We, we are close. Um, we'll, we'll walk around and show you what we got going on, but product is on order. So uh, within the next couple of weeks, we're going to start putting things on shelves. And uh, as soon as we can get organized enough to find things, we'll be ready for business. You know, and then uh, when I'm on my way to uh, Mayfield Lake in the summer and I need something for my boat, I we'll be swing here. Down here, and I can I can go to the Napa location right here in Alaska. So let's go ahead and take a look on uh, inside here. I'm opening up the door, and uh, the producer's walking through first. <laughs> Dave, tell us about the inside. So it used to be a fire station, right? And and so there weren't people in here all the time. So the biggest, the first problem was there was no insulation. Okay. So, uh, you know, had to open up all the walls uh, and the ceiling and insulate and, uh, and fix all the structural problems we found along the way, um, you know, relating to that 100-year-old uh, building thing again. It's kind of like a 67 Camaro when you take it down to its birthday suit and you see all the stuff that, you know, yeah. the past 52 years that people did do it. Right. So, um, you know, had a drop ceiling in here that we removed to open it up so we can get the, uh, the open rafter look. Um, there was no heating system in here. None. Well, they had a, one of those old propane uh, wall or uh, hangers okay. that uh, just wasn't going to be acceptable for yeah, what we were nice. doing. So, it's warm in here. It, it feels good in here. Yeah. It smells new. It's very nice. Boy, I'll tell you what. It, uh, counter here Napa. yeah and, and we made that with uh reclaimed wood from in here as we uh, you know tore stuff apart we saved a lot of the wood mm -hmm. and uh, one of my employees jason inman uh, actually took that on and made that and i think he did a pretty fantastic job really job. in fact when i'm in here paying for my uh, whatever i'm buying from napa i might want to or, a, you know, a, a Coors Light or something. You guys have taps behind this? <laughs> <laughs> next, ne next year. Okay, next, next year. year. 
Okay, so let's um, head to the, the, the middle part here and uh, storage. Uh, yeah. It's a pretty good sized building, actually. This is, uh, you know, this was just kind of a, another garage, a storage area. Uh, we'll just have parts back here, so, you know, batteries, starters, alternators, that kind of thing. Well, the cool thing about this is, is folks out here, uh, you know, on Highway 12, on, uh, on 507, right? 508. 508. Um, they're not going to have to drive clear into Chehalos. Well, the thing is, if you're, if you're here in Alaska or, or Salcom or Cinnabar or Ethel, and you have to go into town to get a quarter brake fluid, mm -hmm. you know, you're looking at 20 minutes minimum to drive, yeah. do your stuff, another 20 minutes. I mean, you're looking at an hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, shoot, you're going to go to Walmart, maybe you're going to grab lunch. You're, you're looking at half a day yeah. because you needed that $3 item. Yeah, well, not only that, if you've got, uh, you know, say the starter goes out, or you, you guys are going to have uh, uh, more than just, you know, auto stuff. I mean, you'll have lawnmower supplies, right? Yeah, and we're going to have stuff for the tractors. tractors. Yeah. Um, we're going to be building hydraulic hoses. Oh, that's um, huge. Yeah, so we're just... You know, there's there's not a lot of other businesses out here, so uh, we hope to kind of be a destination for you know 20 mile circle around. And then there's uh, you know I'm going to come out here during the um, the uh, the apple harvest. Festival. Yeah, you know I was amazed at how huge how big that <laughs> festival is because this year we were here and I had the doors open um, just so that people out there could come in and see mm -hmm. what we were doing. I had no idea. There must have been a couple thousand people out there on the street. It was huge. And what a weekend. I mean, it was the just a beautiful was great. weekend. So, so yeah. ho hopefully, the hope is that this year, for when Harvest Festival comes around, we'll be more involved. That we'll be, you know, we'll be established. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll have some more presence with that. It's, uh, it, it's going to be a good time. But this is uh, certainly a community uh, that is growing at this point. Yeah, there are a lot of a lot of houses being built out here mm -hmm. because, well, we all know that you can't afford to live in Olympia or, or Tacoma or Seattle, so you can move to the outskirts and work from home. You know, you could uh, take a break. Uh, you know, I mean, you, you own it, so you don't have to answer to anybody, but I mean, you can go over and do some fishing. I can, yeah. You can the, a block <laughs> away from the, from the lake. Uh, you know, an, another thing that I was really impressed with about the Alaska community is they do have an active community uh, organization. They had uh, music in the park all mm -hmm. summer long. They have yes. uh, lots, of, lots of events going on, so. Well, you're putting that uh, the festival on, in, that's in September, right? October. It's in October, okay. That takes a lot of planning all year long. And, and I was like, again, we were so impressed with how many people uh, you know, have been coming to that, and, and that, that's a big deal. So yeah. they, they, they're doing good. Yeah. It takes a lot, of, a lot of time. Yeah, it definitely has a, a good community uh, support. And we, we've had a lot of people come in here and express support for what we're doing. Good. Um, it, it's not uncommon for me to be out here working and have two or three people just pop their head in and find out where we're at, what's going on. And it's nice to be welcome, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah. OK, take us to, through the, uh, the back part of the building here. This is obviously where oil is going to go, right? Yeah, yeah. This will be an oil rack once we get it set up. Uh, we got another small storage room in the back here. Just, uh, just will be more part storage. Uh, now, all of this sheetrock is all new. Yes, right? all the sheetrock is new. Um, Did you have to go through and have all the electrical updated? Pretty much all the electrical is new from this wall this way. Everything had to be redone. And you mentioned there was uh, uh, over in between some of these, uh, these aisles right here, a uh, big fireplace? There was. Originally, this was kind of their, their break room area. So there was a big uh, snooker table. Uh, there was a fireplace uh, on the on the uh, floor that, that went up right about here that we had to remove. Hey, you're lucky that it wasn't attached to the floor. Right, it was just built out of brick on top of the floor, so it was really easy to remove. Just a couple guys with sledgehammers, and, uh, and there, was, there was actually a wall that went all the way across here as, as well 
to, so they had the fire trucks would be parked up here. Okay. Um, and it was just this kind of the, the, the this was, type This was, yeah, well, not, they never lived here, but it was, you know, break room area and storage and, 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 and like right, yes. desks and file cabinets. Um, the community has got to be really happy that you reversed the, I mean, that it didn't just get torn down. You, you took the time to keep it here and, and do what you, you know, had to, you had to have done to beat it, you know, get, get it up to code and open it back up again. Right. Plus, plus we were able to, by buying the building, uh, that money went back into the fire department's coffers. Ah, Instead of it just being a teardown and, yeah. and losing everything, they managed to at least make something off of the deal. At Tyler Rental, quality equipment and helpful counter pros save you costly delays. For projects big and small, Tyler has genie man lifts and forklifts, deer excavators, welders, and generators, plus new tools from Steel, Milwaukee, and Hilti. While you're in the store, shop for hard hats, safety glasses, gloves, hearing protection, and much more. Contractors and homeowners depend on Tyler Rental for selection and well-maintained equipment to avoid downtime. Tyler Rental, 153 Hamilton Road, south of Chehalis. Okay, so not only this building, but you've got storage right there for you know a lot of inventory. What's, what's next door? So uh, two buildings on the site. Uh, the second building is kind of a warehouse space. Okay that we're going to be using for um, for just storing product. But, you know, come on over. We'll take so a look. Is that all included with the with the sale of the, of the fire station? Yes, it okay. is all part of the deal. Okay, come on. We're heading over. Oh, here's the, uh, of course, every business known to man now has to have IT. There's your, your <laughs> IT station right there. Our, our wiring rat's nest. <laughs> your kitchen? Oh, you got a dishwasher. Yeah, I don't even. I have no idea if it works. So we'll just we'll step over into this other building here. Now this is big. So Holy moly. this building will store you know bulk bulk items. Um, you see, we got pallets of oil and antifreeze and that kind of stuff will come over into here. I think you should store beer here. <laughs> it's cold enough. To be... <laughs> I, was say. I didn't turn the heater on over here. I didn't it's figure we'd spend in time here. in here. Oh, I see my but, toolbox uh, right there. Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah, we've, I've already kind of been using it for storage for a year. Just kind of putting things here to keep them out of the way. Uh, a lot of a lot of oil so far, and so now uh, this you guys have done a ton of work in here. Yeah, th this building um, had a lot of water damage, so okay. for, the the roof had to be replaced day one, and uh, all the sheetrock and insulation had to come out, and um, so that was a huge cleanup job. Um, it feels. But, it feels. Uh, dry and we're, we're dry now yeah. but you know we had to replace some of the uh the the wood studs that kind of thing where there was some water damage and uh i mean structurally it looks it looks great yeah, yeah. all re-insulated and, and re-sheetrocked and electrical we had to replace every bit of electrical in this building okay. and plumbing yeah nice uh like your bright led yeah. lights yeah, it, those are those are a lot cheaper to run than the the tubes. Yeah, obviously a uh, new garage door. No, the garage door is original. Oh, really? Original, and it works. Good. Um, so it's, it smells like it's being renovated in here. It smells of good wood. <laughs> well, this this kind of turned into the wood shop uh, <laughs> because we had the space here. So now how full is this going to be when you get uh, you know most of the products? So uh, so this is shelving. Yeah, a lot of the shelving we're going to use. That'll go away, right? It'll go away, yeah. but um, I I would say we'll probably have sixty to eighty pallets of product in here at all times. Wow! Uh, because we'll use it for storage for all of my locations. Oh, okay. So um, if we buy you know a truckload of antifreeze, it might come here, and then we'll spread it out as needed. 
So what's our target date? I mean, it's it's looking. So I mean, I guess, I guess is what I'm asking is, is everything done uh, as far as uh, the remodel and that type of stuff? Yeah, um, structurally we're done. Uh, now we're just putting up shelving and and the, and the county says you can move in. Yep, okay. county is giving us our final approvals. So I, I would say April first will probably actually be open. Very good. Um, we'll we'll probably you know not be completely organized at that point, but we'll be good enough. Yeah, kind of a soft opening. It's soft opening. Well, hopefully, if we're going to do a grand opening, um, hopefully June first or July first, somewhere in there. Now you've got uh, one of the newer stores, uh, Castle Rock, right? Yes. Um, and you've got Castle Rock, you've got Centralia, Chehalis, Rochester, uh, a Tenino. Correct. Man. Yeah. There's, keep, a, there's a lot of them. Yeah, we just uh, keep adding on more and more. I it's, see you frequent these stores. Yeah, if, <laughs> I, I, appreciate, I appreciate the business. My kid's uh, going to the university off of you, Steve, so... <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you quit shopping, shop in my garage. If you quit shopping with me, I'd have to lay somebody off. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it up. Yeah, but, and by the way, the, there's no inheritance for the grandkids. Uh, Dave got it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, this is just. I mean, it's really, it, it's really impressive to see what you guys have done out here, and uh, you know, I know it's been a long process to get this thing, you know, to buy it and then and then deal with everything that's you know that had to be done. I mean, you've got to be excited about this being at the tail end, right? Yeah, there, there's quite a few times over the last couple of years when I was sick and tired of it and, and didn't want anything to do with it. But we, we see the end of the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I'm ready to take a break for a few minutes and, after and, that. Well, yeah, um, I, and I did want to mention the State uh, Avenue location um, in Chehalis. That, that's... Now, do you store stuff there, too? I mean, but that's mostly for the big truck stuff, isn't it? Yeah, we, we store stuff there as far as um, bulk and, and, you know, oil and chemical. You know, 55-gallon drums of oil, we have okay. that there. But we have a lot of the stuff for the big trucks there. So One of my friends uh, drives uh, he, uh, uh, in, independently. And so, you know, they're... These guys are keeping track or keeping uh, their trucks repaired. I mean, this is this is like can be high dollar, you know, big diesel stuff, and and uh, it costs a little bit more to do a brake job on a semi truck than it does I'm, your that's Honda. That's what I'm saying. So that's a place that that is, I mean, these guys can go to the the State Avenue location and, and find the parts they need, right? Sure, sure. If it has anything to do with uh, air brakes or diesel engines, I tell people that's the location we've got it at. Yeah, there was a, a I, I would rather put a fuel pump in my, my Chevy pickup than, than a, a 2015 Kenworth. Yeah. I, I don't know the money for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, it is, a lot of times it can be a lot more expensive, but these trucks are making money. They have to be on the road. Exactly. The real estate market is changing and John L. Scott can answer your questions with a free market analysis. If you're a homeowner, it's really important to get a current market analysis. It only takes a few minutes of your time and contains valuable information about your biggest investment. This might be the year to make a move and take advantage of this market. For your free market analysis, see Laura Lee today at John L. Scott, 900 West Main in Centralia. Okay, we're back in the main store with Dave Wilson, uh, owner of the brand new Napa that's going to arrive uh, pretty soon here in Alaska. Dave, uh, again, what, what's the target opening date? I, I think that we'll be ready on April 1st. That's, and, that's pretty uh, close. We may not be 100% organized, but I think we'll be ready to, to do business. We're at the uh, tail end of, uh, of February right now, and there's 29 days in this month, too. I might need that extra day too. Need that extra day. I can see uh, right now. I'm picturing. I'm picturing tools. I'm picturing. Oh man, lights, headlights, um, windshield wipers. Windshield wipers. Just I mean a lot of inventory. This is where I'm going to find oil. I'll find quartz. I'll find uh, you know five uh, quart jugs and 
And then uh, over on the other wall right there, there's a car, car wash. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. and uh, what I need to fix my uh, my boat trailer and, and then uh, lawnmower, tractor, you know, batteries. And I'm just, I'm rambling on. Yeah, everything, uh, pretty much everything you find at a Napa store in town, we're going to have it out here. That's yeah, all going to be here. So, hey, uh, thanks for having us today. Hey, I'm glad you came out, Steve. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, we, we wish you all the luck uh, in the world out here. I think it's great that Alaska's got, got a Napa store now. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll have you out when we're all cleaned up and, and open. Yeah, we'll have you out uh, again. We, we will celebrate. Uh, for the Moni Show, we are at the brand new Napa, again, uh, opening soon. So we're going to head back uh, into town and back in the studio, and we'll see you in just a couple minutes. <laughs> back with the Moni show Paul one question yes did you learn anything from the tour of Napa yes what um that that's a place where my mechanic should go to get the parts to fix my car exactly boom um Paul uh stay away from any wrench crescent wrench anything crescent wrench is that uh, a, okay. some type of roll <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, so a little he, cheddar cheese on it or something. Oh man, you take those things, right roll them out. Crescent yeah. wench. Oh, 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 crescent wench. I like wench. that. Yeah. Now you're talking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, busy, busy. Uh, you're on assignment next week. Yes, I'll so. be in Tacoma. Matthew's going to be in Yakima. Okay. And uh, Danny, who you met, mm -hmm. he and Jamie are going to be over in Spokane, and uh, state basketball gets underway mm -hmm. next Wednesday. Uh, all 12 state tournaments underway at one time, and uh, we have the 3A, 4A classifications, the upper divisions in Tacoma. Most yeah, most people around here are headed either to Yakima or, or Spokane. Okay. Uh, the Chehalis girls, and... Uh, I think the Shayless boys are still battling away. I think they have to win this weekend in regionals. But nonetheless, uh, you got that. You got a lot of uh, teams out of Southwest down the, you know, uh, Columbia River and mm -hmm, Ridgefield mm -hmm. and, and uh, teams down there as well heading over. Tonino is headed over to Yakima. They're, they're going to get to Yakima. And Good. If they win this weekend, they'll get right to, to Thursday and get into double elimination. If they lose this weekend, they'll have to play a loser out game on Wednesday at in the Sundo, mm -hmm. and then ton of schools over in uh, Spokane and Napa Vine has both. Uh, I think they have, I don't think they're number one seed in both. One of them is the number one seed and one's a number two seed, but Adna and Mossy Rock will be over there and uh, just uh, Rainier's headed over. Uh, so a lot of local, local teams uh, gonna go do battle uh, next week. I have one question. Yes. How do you keep track of everything? It's all written down by okay. someone that has good penmanship. Yeah, well, that is, that's that's not Ron Hall, is <laughs> no, it? No, it's not me either. <laughs> <laughs> Your penmanship's not too bad. Oh. Uh, Paul keeps m meticulous notes. Yes. You do a lot of, uh, I can, a lot I of can homework. Read. I can do the X pretty good, but outside of that, it's I can't read it, Oh, uh, so. I did want to mention, too. Wow. Centralia Schools. Yes. Good job. Pastor Levy. Yay. Shayla's uh, Levy passed as well. And, and, and a lot of the uh, other, I mean, we, we can go through all of them. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I think the only one was yeah, there Toledo, was, wasn't it? I think, was it yeah, Toledo? I think okay. Toledo came up. Come short, on, folks. So. Well, yes, out there. Yeah. Um, man, congratulations to Centralia. Yeah. Yeah. That just changes, rolling, changes though. everything. Well, yeah. you've got a brand new high school. And I mean, we, we got a, Start the, at the, you know, the, the schools have to be good. Yes. That's the first yeah. thing that, that so many people look at, industry, folks that, that are moving or whatever. Yep. yep. And uh, and so, yeah, anyway, uh, wonderful that uh, Centralia did officially pass. Yep, absolutely. So, okay, Paul's on assignment next week, uh, and we've got another show uh, on the way. We're putting it together right now.
Yeah. Have a good week. Hey, uh, yeah. We'll see you on March 3rd. And if you want to see uh, more of Paul, then uh, flip it over to the Eli Sports Network. All, everything. No, we it's got, you know, all. We got people everywhere. So. It's all, yeah. It's, it's, it's all right fun. there. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you next week on The Money Show. Bolero Bowling Center in Tukwila is proud to be the host of the WIAA State Girls Bowling Championships. Bolero and our five bowling centers in Western Washington is the place to go for great family fun. We have open bowling and leagues, but we specialize in parties, corporate, adult, and most of all for kids from teens to toddlers. Great food and beverage selections, massive arcade, pool, shuffleboard, and bar at all of our centers. For locations, hours, and deals, go to bolero.com and we'll see you here at the lanes.